How to Lose Weight Change your old diet for a healthier one, and don't skip meals. Be sure to eat fewer calories than you burn, and to drink at least liters .53 US gal, of water each day. Get some exercise in each week, especially aerobic and cardio. Lastly, consider losing weight in a group or with friends. Part 1, Eating Right 1. Eat more fresh fruits and vegetables. Fruit helps to satisfy your sweet tooth thanks to its natural sugars, while fresh vegetables help your stomach fill up more quickly. Fruits and vegetables contain fiber to help you feel full quickly. 1. Try some of these tips to introduce more fruit and vegetables into your diet. Eat what is in season and eat fruit and vegetables for snacks or for dessert. When you eat apples in the fall, for instance, or cherries in late summer, it might as well be an indulgent dessert. Cut up celery, carrots, peppers, broccoli or cauliflower and dip them in a light salad dressing or hummus. Use vegetables as a main dish. For example, make a stir-fry or a hearty salad and add just a few ounces of cooked chicken, salmon or almonds. 2. Eat more whole grains and cut simple carbs. Whole wheat bread, oatmeal, whole wheat pasta, sweet potato, and brown rice are all excellent sources of energy and sources of nutrition. Combined with the right combination of proteins and vegetables, whole grains are perfect all-around nutrition. Two simple carbs are things like white bread, processed flour, and white sugar. This gives you energy quickly but then comes with a crash. It gets transferred into fat very quickly. Substitute whole wheat flour or oat flour into pancakes or baked goods. You might need to add additional leavening ingredients, like wheat gluten. Put barley in your soup instead of rice or try a pilaf with barley, wild rice or brown rice. Eat only naturally occurring carbohydrates instead of processed carbohydrates. Avoid processed foods, like white bread, semolina pasta or crackers, or processed sweets like candy bars or sugary vegetables. 3. Choose lean proteins instead of fatty ones. Protein is important for organ function and building muscle while if you plan on working out, Select lean cuts of beef or extra lean ground beef when you're eating red meat. If you use different cuts of chicken, then remove the skin. For skip the fatty deli meats like bologna and salami. Choose lean turkey or roast beef as a replacement. Vegetarians can get plenty of protein from soy, nuts, beans and seeds. Lentils, legumes and bins are excellent sources of fiber and protein. Eat low-fat dairy for a source of protein, including low-fat cheeses and non-fat yogurt. 4. Try a formal diet plan. If you like the idea of following a more specific diet and putting the planning into someone else's hands, try following a new diet and exercise, follow a paleo diet and eat grass-produced meat fish, and seafood, fresh fruits, and vegetables, eggs, seeds and nuts, just like paleo humans did. Eat nothing prepackaged or processed. 6. Try sticking to raw foods. The raw food diet requires 75% of your dietary intake to be uncooked. Most people eat a lot of fruits and vegetables, whole grains, nuts, and beans. 7. Join a commercial diet plan. If you prefer to eat whatever you want and to meet weekly with other people who are losing weight, then try Weight Watchers. If you prefer prepared meals so that you don't have to cook, try Jenny Gregor Nutri System. 5. Cut the salt from your diet. Eating more sodium causes your body to retain water, which can cause you to feel bloated and gain more weight. 
The good news is that you'll sweat that weight out very quickly, so an easy way of cutting some pounds is to eat less sodium in your diet. Instead of salt, try spicing your meals with chili flakes, fresh salsa, or Cajun spices and seasonings. Lots of people claim that unsalted foods will taste much saltier eventually if you cut it out for a while and let your taste buds reacclimate. 6. Don't skip meals. Lots of people think skipping a meal will help to lose weight, but the same study found that people who ate at least three meals per day lost more weight than people who didn't. When you skip meals, your body stops breaking down fat and starts breaking down muscle tissue. Muscle tissue burns more calories at rest than other tissues, so you're actually working against your goals. 8. Make sure that you don't get hungry by eating small portions throughout the day at regular intervals. Between your meals, eat a 150-calorie snack to keep your metabolism burning and to stave off hunger. Be sure that you don't eat a fattening snack such as sweets or crisps. When you're hungry, your body conserves calories and slows down your metabolic processes. Part 2, Losing Weight Basics 1. Write down everything you eat this week. People who keep food diaries, according to a study published in the Journal of the Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, lose an average of 6 pounds, 2.75 kilograms, more than people who don't keep a record of everything that they eat. 10. So force yourself to write down the good, the bad and the ugly. Keep these tips in mind, be complete. Write it all down, including beverages, condiments, and a description of how the food was prepared. Don't pretend you didn't have that extra glass of wine after dinner. If it goes into your stomach, it goes into the journal. Be accurate. Record your portion sizes in your food diary. Don't eat too little or too much, keep track. Also, read the ingredients list so that you can be accurate about serving sizes. Be consistent. Carry your food journal everywhere that you go. As an alternative, you can use a diet tracking app on your smartphone or tablet. 2. Figure out how many calories you should eat each day to lose weight. Losing weight isn't all about weight. The more aware you are of the calories in the food you eat, the more easily you'll be able to eat the right amount of food and do the right amount of exercise to drop a couple of pounds. Take your food journal and look up each item individually. Keep a running tally and add up your calorie total for the day. Next, look up how much a person of your age, height, weight, and energy level needs per day in calories. Add about 170 calories to your total. Recent studies estimate that we tend to eat slightly more than we're able to keep track of in a day. 3. Make a meal plan, and stick to it. Decide what you're going to eat this week before you're standing at the fridge and trying to figure it out on the fly. Buy the right healthy ingredients to eat the way you want to eat, and plan it out by the calorie. Be realistic. If you like to eat out a lot, don't try to totally eliminate eating out. Instead, plan on eating home-cooked meals six days a week. Cut down on the snacking, or try to make them healthy snacks. Fresh vegetables with guacamole, unsalted almonds, or fruit make for great weight loss snacks. Let yourself have treats. Promise yourself that if you can follow this for six weeks and exercise, if that is one of your goals, you will treat yourself to a restaurant meal one day of the week. 4. Eat fewer calories than you burn. The only surefire way to lose weight is to eat less than you burn over the course of a day. Sounds simple, but it takes work and consistency. That means exercise. If you want to lose weight and stay healthy, you need to start exercising. 
aim for 30 minutes of exercise 3-5 times a week to get started. Try to tally your energy output each day. It's helpful to keep track of these with pedometers, or other weight loss tracking apps that you can use to make this easier. Read the section about exercise for more specific tips. Set mini goals. Instead of thinking that you need to lose 20 pounds, think that you want to lose 1 to 2 pounds this week. Or you can focus on non-pound goals like skipping after dinner snacks this week or only drinking alcohol on weekends. 5. Drink at least 2 liters. 0.53 US gal, of water each day. Water has the double effect of both hydrating your body and filling your stomach with a certain volume of a liquid that has zero calories. The Institute of Medicine determined that an adequate intake, I, for men is roughly 3 liters, 0.8 US gal, about 13 cups, of total beverages a day. The I for women is 2.2 liters, about 9 cups, of total beverages a day. Drinking water about 30 minutes before meals can reduce a number of calories people end up consuming, especially in older individuals. Research showed that dieters who drank half a liter of water before meals lost 44% more weight over a period of 12 weeks, compared to those who didn't. Counting calories is the most important. Women need 1,800 calories a day, men need 2,500 to maintain the weight, to lose 0.5 kilograms you will need to eat 500 less calories than you would need to eat, if you want to maintain the weight, that would be to women 1,300 and to men 2,000. You can eat sweets junk food and also lose weight, it's the calories that matter. But when it comes to your health, you want to eat food which is full of nutrients, vitamins, minerals and good carbs. Part 3, Exercising. 1. Start doing basic aerobic and cardio exercise. Start with a small goal of 30 minutes, 3 times per week if you aren't exercising at all currently. Try these steps to get yourself going, 12 by a pedometer. Attach the pedometer to your belt and try to take 5,000 steps daily. Move up to a goal of 10,000 to 15,000 steps as you get in better shape. Start by walking. Walking around your neighborhood costs nothing and is a great way to start moving. You can also try other low-impact exercises like swimming, riding a bike or slow running. 2. Try machines at the gym. You can use a treadmill, an elliptical trainer, a stationary bike, a rowing machine or a stair climber. Start with short sessions and gradually add minutes as you get more fit. Also, Use the settings on the machines to increase the intensity as you lose weight. Do a variety of different machines until you find something you like. Consult a personal trainer to make sure you're using proper form, to avoid injury. They're there to help, not to intimidate you. 3. Take an aerobics class. You can take a traditional aerobics class or try any number of movement-based exercise routines. These are great ways of keeping yourself motivated in a group, having fun moving around, and losing weight. 13. Try any of the following, kickboxing, jazzercise, zumba, pilates, yoga, martial arts, crossfit or boot camp. 4. Get into strength training. Start small, aiming for one or two 15-minute sessions per week until you feel motivated to do more. Exercise large muscle groups to burn more calories and lose weight, instead of focusing on specific muscles. Try some of these examples, start with squats paired with an overhead dumbbell press to work your lower body and upper body at the same time. Perform resistance exercises while sitting or reclining on an exercise ball. 
you'll strengthen your core while simultaneously working on other areas. Use machines and free weights. These tools tend to focus on particular muscle groups like the arms, shoulders, thighs, glutes and upper back. Do these more focused exercises after you work on exercises for multiple muscle groups. Rest at least one full day between strength training workouts so that your muscles can recover. Recovery will help you to avoid pain and injury. 5. Play a sport. If you're not into the idea of exercise for the sake of exercise, try finding a fun activity that you enjoy, which has the added benefit of getting you moving. Find an intramural league in your town, or just get together with some friends to play a pickup game every now and then. If you don't like competitive sports, try doing something that you can do by yourself. Swim, or play golf or go hiking instead of playing a game with a ball and a net. Get a bicycle if you want to find a great way to get around and exercise at the same time. Don't spend all that time sitting down in your car when you could be burning calories.